with everything that is going on someone would truly believe that it's hard of us to even have goals such as like making over three million dollars within a year's time frame and i sat down and i noticed that there's actually something that is highly achievable but instead instead of just being achievable or having it as a goal we've been able to break it down into actionable steps that i want to show you guys how i plan on to making over three million dollars in the year of 2023 and at the same time how i actually will be looking into implementing some of these strategies or methods that i'll be doing and maybe also the purpose of this video is to help you out be able to also have your own specific goal because remember just because i have a goal of making this doesn't mean that you know um you should have the exact same goal you can have any number but you can also use these exact same steps that i'm going to be sharing with you in this video that will help you get your goal a bit more closer or faster remember i've had a, a goal of actually making over a million dollars within the last few years and i've reached and done that so it's very important of me now to be able to just use those same principles but actually evolve them with the experience that i have now and see if i can now flip that into a beautiful year for me so obviously guys if you believe that you'll be gaining a lot of value from this video i need you guys to just hit that like button and as well subscribe to my youtube video turn on the notification bell because this is where you are going to be finding that um success that you actually need whether it's financial success whether it's personal success whether it's like literally um you know mindset success type thing this is where you're going to be finding that so the first step on how i actually plan on to making over three million dollars within a year's time frame in a span of um in, in the year 22 23 is the fact that i need to start off first by developing a solid financial plan So what I mean by this, what I mean by developing a solid, solid financial plan is like, you know, having a detailed budget because it's very important to have a detailed budget in terms of this is where my money, this is what my goal is, this is where my money is at currently and this is what I need to do in order of me to be able to just reach that goal because remember, it doesn't help if you want to get to a specific level and you just dream to get there and you hope to get there and you get there. It doesn't really have that way. It doesn't really work that way. What happens is that you'll need to actually have an actionable step to implement and you need to follow through with that steps because if you do not follow the steps then you'll know why you didn't hit your goals but if you follow the steps then you'll even if you don't hit your goals you'll be a bit more closer to your goals so you need to have a detailed budget um plan and as a one thing that i like is investment strategies so these are ways that we can go about it like there's different types of investments out there there's investments that can give you quick returns right now but those are also high risky and there's all there's investments that can actually build up your portfolio that will be easy like you know um those slow returns monthly returns whether it's dividends whether it's monthly whether it's yearly but at the same time those are maybe um, slow in terms of like the profit that you'll be getting but you know it's, it's, it's safer ones because they're less riskier so now I also have to now come up with a strategy that will allow me to be able to just grow my portfolio a bit more quicker in terms of my investment strategies because yes there's different types of things that I've invested in but now I need to come up in the way, with a way on what can I do to just get back like you know that 10x or maybe that 15x type of return on one investment because I believe if I can do it that way it will help me out massively and as well one thing that you should also focus a bit more on is to reduce debt but now most people when i say reduce debt they're thinking that um debt is more like what you borrow from the bank you should never borrow from the from the bank no it doesn't work that way there's what we call good debt and bad debt so good debt um from one thing from one person that i lent um grant cardone he mentioned and it touched me because i was like good debt is actually something that you can um, write off like as a tax write off um and, and bad debt is something that you can't do that so let's say for instance that's like the the two ways of spending money so let's say for instance if i bought an lv belt or maybe a, a lisiva multipi belt let me not say lv lisiva multipi belt and you know i just bought that belt a thousand dollars and you know I'm, I'm wearing it that's that's bad debt like i used money for debt like you know i took debt for um that belt let's put it this way but if i took debt to buy that belt this one to be built because i'm going to be speaking on a stage that's like over a thousand people and a thousand people potentially a few of them will see my belt be interested and buy that belt do you see now it's no longer a bad debt it's now we flipped that into a positive debt so those are ways that you can go about it you need to actually have or reduce debt but having or reduced debt is that you need to actually focus a bit more on acquiring more good debts build relationships with banks see how you can you know um make money make more money for you and you know um and cut out like just spending money on things that can or won't return any investment so those are the first step let us now move over to the second step So now the second um, step into us understanding how I plan to make over $3 million within a year's time frame 2023 
is that you need to invest in education learn about finance investing in other markets because the way it actually goes within this industry is that the better you become the more you learn when you grow obviously your pockets are going to grow as well like one thing that i always like is when there's a saying that says at first you learn and then after you learn you just remove that l which means that now you earn so those are actually the truth you need to um equip yourself with a lot of information so how i plan going about it is that um i watched a video from patrick but david he's um, a very successful entrepreneur i've been learning from him since i was still you know i was like at the very beginning of my journey and in terms of business and one thing that i like is that he taught me a lot of things and one thing um that i also spotted from him is that you need to let's say for instance i said you need to learn about i actually need since, since this is my plan i need to learn about what investing finance and as well markets so what he said is that like you know you should take four of those so I'd just um, i have to put finance which is money investing which is investing and markets so one thing that i'll do is that i'll just need to he also mentioned something such as like i'm negotiating so since like you know i'll be negotiating with certain people on different deals and this so i need to also add that as a skill that i need to learn so let me actually add that as a skill negotiation okay so with these methods one thing that he actually said to me was that you know you actually need to read at least like a hundred books he, he was like he was even more aggressive he's like out of those four um niches four topics that you need to discover um finance markets what, what, what read a hundred dedicate the next year into reading a hundred books of each which means that i need to read a total of 400 books within a year's time frame and for me my, my mindset was like wow how can i but guess what the thing that he said is that if you don't come if you come back to me and tell me that i didn't gain anything i will refund you every month that you spend within that time frame but if you say that you are your your um you are the best within your industry you are the best within you know your field or wherever you are whatever that you are studying you are the expert then that's where you should be because i highly believe that you know um when you are wanting to go into something when i actually want to become um you know successful in terms of like you know have money and do all those things i need to study money you can't just study let's say the markets and not know how money works it doesn't work that's why most people um, i would see most people that will be like you know um you run this business but you also trade how does it work one two three and to be honest i also need to, i'm a business person I'm, 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 I'm ceo of a company as well i'm a trader which means that now i need to be able to balance the two because personally this is what i can do but you know i'm professionally i own a business so i need to also come up with ways on how can my business make revenue how can my my, my, my my brands or whatever incomes that i have going on make revenue because at the end of the day we're trying to make that money because with that money we're going to be able to use that money in order to just fund our dreams and at the same time be able to impact more people and at the same time be able to help out more people so those are ways that you can The third step on how I plan on to making three million dollars within a year's time frame, which when you break it down, you are seeing that that's like at least an average of three hundred thousand US dollars a month. So the third step is that we need to start or grow a business. So one thing that I like is that I already have multiple businesses that are going on, but I actually noticed something with me is that most of my businesses or most of my incomes actually involve around one specific thing, which is like trading on the markets. So I need to now start expanding and going to different types of ventures. So like i did say yeah when growing a business the most important thing is to expand it like let's say if you are obviously when you're working a job you can't really scale that much unless so your job is more on commission or more on days or more on things because the more you work the more you earn but if it's not a, if, if it's just like you know a salary it means that no matter how much you work or what you'll always be stuck onto one income source so if you have a salary there's nothing wrong with that what you can do is you can take some of that money and invest into a business start a business or something similar to that because with a business this month you can make a thousand dollars and next month you can make ten thousand dollars literally that's a business i've seen that i've experienced it so that's one thing that i'm looking into doing but my steps are i'm actually going to open up multiple more businesses but with these businesses i'm going to be a bit more private with them i noticed that when i when i, when I touch more of my image with like you know a specific business yes i have a lot of people out there that love me that love what i do and stuff but at the same time it's a bit more riskier because my name or my image will be attached to that business so i'm trying to separate myself from that 
and on top of that you know i'll be expanding and growing my current businesses just so we are able to touch more people reach more people and as well be able to make much more better and greater income so those are ways that i'm planning on doing it and if you do not have any success any success, business that is currently running i highly suggest that you actually start any type of a business even if you're making a thousand rands a month like it doesn't even need to make a lot the fact that you have a business means that there's a higher chance that somewhere somehow you can get that income that you actually need so that is my third step Just give me a few seconds guys i want to let you guys know that we have rebranded forex chasers and as well we just came back a bit more stronger we've left the link in description the very first link that you'll see or you can head over to www.forexchasers.com you can see all the different types of packages that we have because i see a lot of people needing mentorship and a lot of people needing to just learn the right way and we believe that we are the best um training education company out there make sure that you check us out and you can become one of our chasers or one of um, the people that we actually work with or help within this trading journey let us now continue the fourth step looking at it is that we need to save invest leverage so what i mean by save invest leverage is that at first when you save you need to save up some capital but i'm not a very huge fan of saving because i believe that that money instead of sleeping it can be put to work and do something maybe go out there like let's say now if you have a child and the child is always just sleeping stuck up in a room and not seeing people there's a higher chance that you know the child will, uh, will grow up not knowing a lot of people friends will be shy and stuff i don't want my money to be shy so one thing that i want is that i want to focus a bit more on investing but invest me investing doesn't really necessarily mean that like you know there are specific things that needs to be done because with investing remember they can make some bad investments and they can be the, those good investments that can actually explode your portfolio so with my investment i'm looking into learning more about like you know some low cost investment strategies and as well, as well that are a bit more secured but they can also give me you know um, nicer profits and at the same time i'll also dive in a bit more deeper into some higher risk the ones that can guarantee me a bit more um higher amounts of returns so that's my investment methods and leverage so with leverage you understand that normally us as traders would have leverage with like you know i'm brokers so you'd find maybe a thousand a thousand dollars or a thousand rands and you know the broker will give you credit or your your equity will be now on two thousand meaning that they're giving you a credit of over a uh, thousand as well which means that now you can open trades of worth two thousand that amount that you funded now you funded that so a hundred percent let's put it that way so i want to use that more i want to be able to just use leverage to help me out get to my goals a bit more quicker but this way i need to build up my finances build up my portfolio just so when i get to banks or when i get to anywhere any financial institution and i need like capital from them like I'm, i'll go to them and say like, guys i need 10 million i'm building this project one two three i show them finances that i can be able to back it up one two three if anything happens they can attach whatever that it, that it needs to be done then once i get that money imagine if i get can get an advancement of like let's say maybe 20 million or 30 million on a project that i can work with instead of using my own money which can take long into building paying bit by bit on projects i can easily take that money pay it and then i start making money within the next few months and i take that money that i'm making i pay it back and literally i didn't use any money but now i'm making all these profits from this side you see how it is that's losing leverage but that is the fourth step guys and so far with this information that's being shared it's super amazing super insane some of these things that i speak about i am actually sharing them into um, our private course which i want you guys to actually go to forexchasers.com click the link in the description check it out and learn from it because i actually dive in a bit more deeper into how you can like the steps like the, we did kit over an hour within a step showing you know how you can actually learn the right methods how i done this how i used it before into making my first million dollars and now I'm, how i'm actually using it into you know i'm going all the way to making three million dollars within a year's time frame so those are things that you can learn but let us move over to the fifth point So the fifth and last point fortunately you made it up until here at the end the fifth and last point is that you need to network and as well seek opportunity you need to network guys when you are running a business or when you are like you know i'm um, working in terms of like you know building trying to just build something for yourself in order to just get to the next level you need to network because remember you don't have all the answers you don't the people around you so far now don't have all the answers you know you are stuck in a different so it's, it's, it's networking basically helps you be able to just move over to the next level um there were days uh, a few days ago a few weeks ago i was in nigeria and you know we were able to network with like you know multiple individuals that are doing a lot of cool things i met up 
with like a lot of prop firm owners. I met up with a lot of broker owners. I met up with a lot of um, you know, um, real estate like you know owners and stuff. And I got all these owners' numbers. And like you know, um, these people are like high um net worth um individual like let's say it's individuals that are like you know high quality. Let me not say high net worth, but let me rather say high quality in terms of these people are like CEOs of these big businesses that I can maybe partner in or maybe I can take some knowledge from them and I can use it for my own and do those things that they're doing in a much more better way do you see so sometimes you just have to network and be able to surround yourself with the right people just so they can help you get to the next level and also seek opportunities never just sit and think something is going to come to you you need to go out there and grab an opportunity by the throat and bring that opportunity back home because why if someone has to eat back home you have to go out there get food and come back home with it you understand so with opportunities the same that exact same way you need to seek opportunities you need to close deals you're gonna be rejected you will actually be accepted you will be rejected you'll be accepted you just have to go through all of that in order of you to be getting to the next level but guys that is my method on how i plan to make over three million dollars within a year within 2020 in the year of 2023 i need you guys to just comment down below what are your goals well, how much are you actually looking into making and as well what are the methods that you know can work are working that you are looking into applying in getting to your goals remember make sure that you like make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and as well leave me with those comments or make sure that i leave the link the very first link that you'll see is for the forex chasers website whereby you can get access into our private group whereby you'll now get all the deeper details into learning about this see you guys in the private team